Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 21 of Action April, the month where I watch a new action film I have never seen every day for the full month. So what do we get for day 21? Well, yesterday we had Bloodstone, and today we get Force 5. Five against a thousand, the odds are even. <laughs> oh boy. A martial arts expert leads a team of fellow martial artists to rescue a senator's daughter from an island ruled by an evil leader of a fanatical religious cult. Okay, uh, sure, this one sounds great. Um, day 21, I'm watching Force 5. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, martial arts films were dominating the theaters. And this is thanks to the talents of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. To compete against these films, Force 5 advertised having over 85 trained martial artists on screen, as well as over 200 fight sequences within its 96-minute runtime. And that being said, the film may be a bit low on characterization and, and story, yet it's high on energy and enthusiasm, and turns out to be a pretty fun film. It offers the same action team setup we've seen before, with one man recruiting a team of experts to fulfill a supposedly impossible mission. The recruiting opening allows each character to demonstrate their talents. Billy Ortega is recruited by a telegram just before he beats up some angry men. Lockjaw is recruited by telephone while he's being chased down on motorcycle and then beats up some angry men. Ezekiel loses money playing billiards and is recruited for the job so he can earn cash, and then beats up a bunch of angry men. And then Lori, who is about to go shower, is recruited by a sleazy masked man when she is just stripped down for bed. Yeah, I wonder why he didn't try this recruiting method with Lockjaw. <laughs> Action fans will be pleased to see that this is the film debut of Benny Urquidez, also known as Benny the Jet. He is a continuous world champion kickboxer who action fans will recognize from some of the most iconic Jackie Chan fight sequences. If you haven't seen these scenes, they are a must watch for all martial arts fans. One of my favorite action sequences in this film is the elevator scene, when our main protagonist, Jim Martin, played by another champion kickboxer, Joe Lewis, takes out two guards at the same time. Watch the stuntman on the right react too early to the kick, making the kick look fake. The stuntman on the left, who really takes a kick to the face. And this is repeated. Reacts too early, making the kick look fake, followed by getting really kicked in the face. One of these stuntmen certainly earned his paycheck that day. While this will never be considered on the top tier of the best action films ever made, for martial arts fans, it is still a must-see. And there you have it, day 21 of Action April. This time I watched Force 5. What other martial arts mayhem films do you like? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films I'm watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get updates daily. And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.